a three-stage model. The researchers who claim that there exists a unitary language system in the minds of, the of bilingual children also present a three-stage model to explain um, how the children gradually begin to differentiate between different languages. And this model has been presented by Votera and Dashner in 1978. And they argue that the first stage in their model is that when a child is exposed to different languages, then these children actually have a single repertoire or unitary language system in which they, uh, they might have items from both languages or more languages they are being exposed to. Nevertheless, it, it, the child considers them as a single language system. In the second stage, the child begins to differentiate gradually between the linguistic items of the two languages, that is, the words used in, dif in um, different languages as parts of different languages. However, at the second stage, they are still using a unified syntax, that is, a grammar and they don't know that it is the grammar of one language or the other. They just make up this grammar, either borrowing from, borrowing from either of the languages. The third stage, they argue, is a differentiation or complete understanding that these languages or the repertoire they have are actually two different language systems. And this is when they are competently able to use these two languages uh, differently. Uh, Swain, 1972, who also argued along the same lines, uh, also um, uh, presented a similar idea, if you would remember, when, he, when she said that there exists in the beginning a single storage for both languages, which are gradually differentiated into two language systems in the brains of the child. However, people who disagree say that the evidence is not sufficient for this claim because the same findings can actually lead to different kinds of interpretation. And there is very uh, little evidence of, uh, about the undifferentiated use of the language. So what are they saying? They are saying that when children use a language, uh, they often do respond to the context. So they might be very good in one language and they might not be very good in the other language, which often happens in bilingual children. But in a given context, they would even use their weaker language because they do understand that this is how they are expected to respond. So you might have very young children who might talk to their parents in Urdu but they would talk to their grandparents in Punjabi if they do not, if the grandparents are not talking to them in Punjabi. Now, this precisely is the thing that is missing from the evidence provided by the researchers in the unitary language system. They provide with uh, provide us with isolated examples of. Uh, transcripts or the language used by the child without actually telling who they are speaking to and in what context are they using a language. For instance, a very young child, a bilingual child, when um, in Pakistani context also, when he or she ends up in school, might, use, uh, might uh, resort to using the weaker language, if it is Urdu, for instance, um, in school with the teacher rather than Punjabi uh, when, speak, when in a school context. And this contextual uh, information, since it is missing, uh, 
does not substantiate the claim of the researcher as who um, argue for a unitary language system. And this is what they say that the context is extremely important to record the, un, uh, the differentiated use by the children, but this context is simply missed out by uh, researchers. And so it is impossible to say whether they understand the difference between the use of two languages or they don't. They also argue that this concept of how or the phenomena of how children gradually stop using um, the two languages uh, or uh, simultaneously or the code mixing becomes less may also be explained that as the gra children gradually acquire the languages, their repertoire or the store of the vocabulary and grammar in, mo uh, in both languages increases, they don't need to rely on the other language to complete their um, expression. And that can be explained not by the unitary language system, but as an acquisition process.